Hello everybody, Cyrus here, the off-grid maker. Today's video is gonna solve one of our problems. We live in a place that is very hard to find. Most people can't find it. Most people get lost even when you give them directions, which I kinda of like not being found very easily. The downside to that is it's real tough to get deliveries. And so to solve that problem, I'm building a delivery box that I'm going to place at the intersection of two uh, roads at the northern end of our property. I'm going to build this out of all salvage materials. It's not going to cost me anything basically and you guys can follow along. Before I do that, I want to ask you guys a question. I would like to get some information from you guys. And the question is this, and just leave your answers down in the comments. If you are not living off grid right now, but you want to be living off grid, what is holding you back? What is the thing that's keeping you from being able to, to do that? Let me know. There's a lot of people in this community who might be able to help you out. And um, anyway, I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff, all kinds of off-grid living stuff, uh, DIY. Okay, so here we go. This intersection represents the northeast corner of my property and I'm going to place a delivery box right here and I can give special instructions to UPS and FedEx that this is where they'll drop it and hopefully this will stop the problem we're having about losing packages. This is the material I've got. Uh, these are all just two by fours that were part of old salvaged fence panels. Uh, that I brought home a bunch of fence pickets piece of tin well, that's it so the only thing that I, the, the only cost really in this project is going to be a handful of screws so uh, should turn out nice I hope if you guys want to follow along and check it out here we go bigger than I need, I'm going to cut it down. My memory filled up on the camera and the camera died so I had to go back down to the house and transfer some files and all that anyway so here's what we got so far I've got the box built the frame I've got a 10 degree slope on the top so now all I've got to do is run the fence pickets uh, around the sides and then I'll build the top and it'll hinge up so delivery drivers can drop packages in there um, and that'll be it. What's funny is uh, when I was coming back up from the cabin, I saw the delivery driver leaving and had to chase him down. And sure enough, he was un unable to find the property and was taking my package back to FedEx ground. But I caught him, so yay! Got the package, which is really exciting because this package is part of an upcoming video where I'm going to show you guys how to build your own moonshine steel. I'm making a new one this year. This one's uh, going to be a 25 gallon steel. So if you want to follow along how to build a how to build your own steel, be watching for those videos if you're interested. And I'm going to get back to finishing this up. Hank, watch yourself. 
I didn't bring enough tin, but that's all right. I've got another piece down on the property. Just a little piece that I can put right here. I need to get some kind of handle to put here so it's easier to open. Um, but this is it. So now I can get my deliveries. They'll be out of the rain. I'm going to clean up my mess, grab all my scrap material, throw it back on the trailer, and head back down to the cabin. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm back up here uh, a day later to try and get this thing finished up. I've just got to put this other piece of tin on the top, and um, the delivery box is finished. And I'm really excited about it. No more chasing down packages. So I'm going to get that finished up. Already cut myself, that didn't take long. There's a better way. There it is. All I gotta do is put a handle on it. I'll see you guys next time.